Hello everyone, so welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we are going to look at a loan. So a loan is an amount of money that you typically get from the bank and then you will have to pay that loan back over time and they will obviously add interest onto that. So in some of the previous questions we we always wanted to know how much money we have at the end of a certain period. So on our timeline for example we would add money at various places so like for example here you would add 3,000 Rand, here you would add 2,000 Rand and at the very beginning you would maybe add a thousand Rand. Then what you would do is you would take each of those amounts and you would drag them forward to the end date, okay? Because we always wanted to know how much you have in the future. However, with most loan questions, not all of them, you typically want to know how much the loan was in the beginning. So you want to take each of these amounts that we're going to use in the question and you're going to drag each of them backwards. So instead of going forwards, you're going to go backwards. I'll show you how that works now. Because they're asking us for the original value of the loan. Now, how would you know what the original value of the loan is? By looking at what the loan is worth in the future or knowing what the loan is worth at the beginning? Well, that's at the beginning. For example, let's say you take out a loan of 100,000 Rand. Well, that loan is eventually going to grow to maybe 150,000 Rand because they're going to add interest. So you're going to borrow 100,000 from the bank and you would pay back 150,000. But if someone asks you what was the original loan amount, it's not this amount it's this amount over here. So we are interested in the starting value. So let's draw a timeline just showing all the different payments. Okay, so it's going to be like this. T0, we don't know how much the loan is worth, so that's what we're trying to figure out. They tell us that the first payment will be made after the first year. So at T1, he's going to pay back 5,000 Rand because they've told us that it's three equal payments of 5,000 Rand. Then after the second year, he makes another payment of 5,000 Rand. And then after three years, he well, that's at the end, he makes his last payment of 5,000 Rand. They tell us that interest is going to be, for the entire duration, it's going to be 15% quarterly. Okay, so I'm just going to write that like that. So all we do is you look at each amount. So you're going to look at this one first and you're going to try to work out what that one was worth in the beginning. So you know how we use the formula A equals to P1 plus I to the power of N. You want to know how much that 5,000 Rand was worth in the beginning and it's going to be less. So you could think of it as a is equal to 5,000 Rand, but you want to know what the starting amount is. Okay, so you don't know what P is. Then you could go 1 plus 0 0.15 over 4 because it's quarterly. And then if you're going from T1 back to T0, that's only one year. So that's going to be to the power of 4 over here. Now, if you wanted to get P by itself, you would end up doing this. 5,000 over 1 plus 0 0.15 over 4 to the power of 4. Now, what most teachers do is they bring this bracket over here. They take it to the top. Now we know in maths that if you have something like 1 over x and you want to take that x to the top, it becomes x to the minus 1. Or if we have 1 over x2, then it becomes x to the minus 2 if you take it to the top. So what we can do is get p by itself by saying 5000 and then saying 1 plus 0 0.15 over 4 to the negative 4. And what that question, well, what that will do is it will work out the original value of this 5,000 Rand on day 0. So you're dragging everything backwards. So you don't have to go do the whole a equals p 1 plus i to the power of n and then get p by itself. All you're going to actually do is you're going to take each amount. Okay, so we know that the 5,000, that first 5,000, it's going to end up having a bracket next to it of 0 0.15 over 4 to the minus 4. Then you're going to plus that with this 5,000 Rand, which is going to be 1 plus 0 0.15 over 4. Two, and that's two years now, so that's going to be to the negative 8. And then the last 5,000 Rand, which is this one over here, that needs to go all the way back. So that's three years. So you see how it's the same as the previous type of questions, but we just use this negative over here. These negatives are a mathematical way to take the money to the left hand side and not to the right hand side. 
and so then you can just go type all of that on the calculator and that's going to give you an original loan amount of 11,254 rand and 34 cents. So in summary, if you want to know the value of something in the future, then you drag the amount forward. So for example, this 5,000 rand, if you drag that forward, then that would be two years, and so that would be to the power of eight, but it would be a positive eight. If you want to know the value of something at the beginning, which is typically used with loans, then you'll drag it backwards. So how many years do we have in between those two? Well, that's only one year, so that would be to the power of minus four if we are compounding quarterly, but you must use the negative as that is the mathematical way to make the money go that way.